struggling with too many ideas too many projects and just way too much research to keep track of, then join me as I get my hands on a new tool, saner.ai, that blends note-taking, search, and AI into one app. I'm Mike, and over more than a decade of finance experience, I've worked everywhere from the Fortune 100 to brand new startups. I've always struggled with focus and organization, and actually two years ago found out that I have pretty severe ADHD. Even before knowing that, I've had so many different tools to manage my productivity, from to-do lists, to note-taking apps, to file organization, and at the end of the day, sometimes the tools overwhelm me more than my inability to focus does. So when Sander.ai reached out to me about testing this new tool and sharing it with you all, I jumped at the chance. Make sure to stick around to the end because I've got a massive discount to share with you once we've taken the software for a ride. Before we get started, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and drop your thoughts on productivity tools in the comments below. Let's get started on this together. So what I wanna do is I wanna set up Sander.ai live with you. I did create an account, but I haven't gone through and set it up. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna use it, we're gonna see how the functionality works. Now, before we get started, I do wanna mention I'm gonna a free subscription to the premium service for Center.ai to try it out and demo it all for you. I am not getting paid anything to do this review or offer this review. These are my own thoughts. They have no review or control over the review. So this is going to be just what I think as I go through it. At the end of the video, I am going to have a link for you to go buy this with a pretty sizable discount that they've offered. On that link, I will earn affiliate commissions. But again, I'm not being directly paid for any of this. We're just going to go through it. I'm going to give you my live thoughts as I try this out. So what Center.ai is says it is. It says it's a personal AI note and search app, and it's directly designed for ADHDers to reduce distraction and overwhelm. Boy, do I know things about distraction and overwhelm. So you'll see you can ask random questions. It will search through all of your references. Uh, it's going to double check sources. You can note anywhere. So it says, let's see, we can write on Chrome. We can do voice notes. We can upload. It's going to find and synthesize stuff from across all of our note-taking and our resources. It's going to help us recall knowledge we forget. I forget a lot of knowledge. And we're going to work in one place with one flow. So what this does is it's going to pull in their special AI tool that can search our notes. It's going to look across the web for information. And then it's also, and this is kind of cool, it's going to pull in GPT-4 Claude and Gemini. Now I will say I'm not a huge Gemini fan, but GPT-4 and Claude are great. Um, GPT is a lot better at uh, kind of historical information and updating and editing, whereas Claude is a lot better at creating new content. Uh, and then we can also get organized. It's got a smart inbox, it's going to suggest things to us, pull up relevant notes, so a lot of that stuff. I've never really seen a tool like this. It's kind of like initial thought is it's feeling like Notion, except with the AI component um, and the ability to kind of work across sites. So let's go ahead and get started. So again, I did just create my account so we wouldn't have to do that. I'm going to hit sign in. You would hit sign up, but we're going to go through and we're going to set this up together. Okay. So again, I already created my account, so I'm just going to do my profile now. So I'm going to be Mike Dion, and this is my personal AI assistant. So that's cool. I plan to use this both for personal and for work. All right. And how is my style? Well, I would like to think that I am friendly. I'd like to think that I am concise, casual, I'm pretty neutral. I like to think I'm humorous. I don't know if my jokes are funny, but I like to think I am. Um, I'm objective. I can be enthusiastic. I feel like I'm pretty reserved, though. Let's be realistic here. And simplistic. All right. It looks like I can customize the AI in the future, so that's cool. And now let's see what it creates for us. All right. Let's see. I'm going to do what kind of work I do. I guess I'll say consulting. That's pretty close. I do both. I have a day job and I have my business. I am, ooh, I was almost gonna click a little low there. And yes, I do have ADHD. 
So let's launch. All right, so here we are. So right off the bat, this kind of, to me, looks like ChatGPT. Um, I've got kind of like a taskbar over here. It's got some basic instructions, and then this looks like kind of a, a ChatGPT prompt. This looks pretty similar to ChatGPT and Claude. So right off the bat, it feels like something I know. Um, now I do know there's different plans. I haven't really dug into the different plans a lot. Um, I haven't added the premium code yet, but they gave me a premium subscription for two months. But it looks like right now I can ask it 50 things. So looks like let's let's kind of follow their world. So we can know our notes inside now. We can create a new note, or we can import notes. All right. Well, let's start by importing. Let's see what we can do here. We can import text and markdown, PDF, we can import from notes. Ooh, let's try importing from Apple Notes. Okay, so I just did a bunch of clicking around that I spared you. So for Apple Notes so far, you have to get it into a markdown format, so I can't do that on my PC because you have to use an Apple tool called uh, Importer, so I could do that in the future for my iPhone, um, but we're going to just do this as text for now. So it looks like when I go to text, it still wants it in a markdown or text file so I can't copy and paste it in. Honestly, I was kind of hoping to have Google Drive in here. It looks like I kind of have to pull them in one by one. Yeah, that's an actual HTML file. I can pull in a .docx, I can pull in a PDF. Let's see if the Notion or Evernote would be a little bit better. Yeah, so it looks like Notion would allow you to directly pull in. And let's try Evernote. Yeah, so Evernote you can also pull in directly. So it's just Apple Notes where you don't have that option, which unfortunately is what I'm using. Um, but it looks like if I was on Notion or Evernote, that would be a lot easier. So let's just go ahead and add a note then. All right. So here's a great note. Right, let's go ahead and add a note. So what I want to add is I want to save my prompt library that I've been building up all of the different prompts that I use to create my content. All right, so there's my prompts. Uh, looks like we can add tags. So I will call this AI resources. All right, so there it is. Uh, let's see if we can do full page, side panel, Similar note. All right. So now we've got a knowledge base. It's called Prompt Library. All right. Well, before we get too far, let's kind of go down the side here and see what there is. So we've got this Ask AI, which is where we're giving these options. Kind of looks like ChatGPT. Uh, so that we can add a new note. We can search across our notes, either by keyword or AI. We can import files, which we've already looked at. Uh, this looks like we got an inbox of all the different things. Timeline, it looks like when we added them. Connector, oh, here we go. So here's where we can connect with Google Drive. I thought I read something about that. Okay, so we went through the connection process for Google Drive and it's not coming in. So I'll probably have to ask them about that. So too bad we couldn't get the connector working yet. I'll have to follow up with tech support on that. But it looks like we can have some AI chat conversations just like ChatGPT and then our knowledge is saved here. We've got tags and then you can, looks like you can share with people here. So let's go to AI and something I always like to do is ask the AI how it can help us. Good morning. I like to be very polite to the AI for when the robots take over the world. I am new to center.ai. What are the best ways for me to use this tool? And let's see what it says. So this is Sky, this is the personal AI assistant that's built into the tool. Let's see, so I can brain dump using the inbox feature. I can manage all of my notes, so it really wants us to just kind of get all of the note information in here, which I have an Apple right now. It can distill information, so if I take notes, it looks like it will focus on what's important and create task lists, that's kind of cool. Um, I can use the Chrome extension to research faster without switching tabs, it will summarize PDFs. I can create content, I can manage tasks, I can organize ideas, I can use past experiences to inform current decisions, so I can kind of, if I have it all in here, I can ask it questions. 
And I can use multiple, oh, so I can switch between models in one chat. So I could ask Claude to do something and then switch over. Okay, so it wants me to kind of brain dump my ideas and organize them in the inbox, then use the queries to find and connect information across your notes. Okay, so let's try what it's talking about. Let's see if I can get something to generate tasks. So we're gonna go and add a note. I'm gonna call this note social media content structure. And I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and I've been taking a lot of notes, just very random messy notes about how to structure and organize AI content. Okay, so here I've created a note called social media content structure. I've been taking a lot of messy notes as I watch YouTube videos. All of these notes are about how to structure social media content, some cool ideas, and they're very, very messy notes. I haven't had a chance to go through them. So this seems like a great use case based on what the AI told us. Okay. So I'm gonna add a note. I'm gonna say I want social media content structure. I will say, I can see this selecting notes getting kind of clunky. I get very overwhelmed with long lists, so I'm hoping that I'll find a way to kind of organize this um, because just the list of all of my notes, I mean, I could have hundreds in here, so. Okay, we've had a network error. Okay, so I had this really messy list, all kinds of stuff. Let me just show it to you again. So this is just a lot of really just random notes. You see they're in different formats. Like I see the stars down here, Paso's up here. So if I go back to the AI chat I was having. This is pretty good. So it gave me three specific frameworks. It told me how to use them. And then it actually said, what specific social media program platforms you're looking to optimize content for. And it will do it in general. So this is, this is kind of cool. I can see how this would work. Um, now let me see if I can have something. Can I add two notes? Yeah, I can add two notes, okay. Um, let's see, how do I wanna do this? I wanna say, looking at how I write AI prompts So what I'm asking it to do is to look at all of the AI prompts I've loaded in, to look at the star framework, and to see how that goes. All right, act as an expert content creator. Okay, I do that, that's something I do. I need your help to structure your response. Before you begin, ask me any clarifying questions. So this is something that I do in all of my prompts. Like it is, it is literally getting my prompt structure and it's combining it with the star framework. So a um, little bit of a slow start. I guess I wasn't really completely sure how to use Sander.ai. Um, so some onboarding might be helpful because I really wasn't 
getting the gist and you know I know how to ask the ad tool so some onboarding might be helpful I might you know reach out and recommend that to them um, I also have to find out what's going on with the connector because I feel like being able to pull in Google Drive and also um, being able to pull in all the Apple notes I think I can do it if I go on my iPhone I think I can download them that way um, but being able to do that, I think this is really powerful. I'm actually really excited seeing how this, this AI is working and then knowing that I can kind of flip that over to the other models, like here's GPT-40, here's Claude, um, knowing that I can flip over to those and start testing it, that's really cool. So lots more to come. Overall, I'm, I'm pretty optimistic. I just do wanna see um, kind of if I can get that connector working because we, we struggle to pull in data a little bit. And then I also wanna make sure that I can organize this better because um, the way I was just searching notes where it just is a list of them, I'm hoping that there's a way to organize it better. But um, lots more to come on this. So far, I'm excited about it. Uh, well, very excited to see kind of how this can kind of all integrate. And as I get more information in here, I might come back and share that with you. Now, before I forget, you're going to find an affiliate link down in the description. And if you use code for lovers special, that's written down below. It is F O R, not the number four, for lovers special. That's going to give you a 40% discount on the yearly standard plan. I do receive an affiliate commission if you purchase, but you'll be getting 40% off. So, who even cares about that. If you enjoyed this walkthrough, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every single Monday and trust me, you do not want to miss what we have coming up. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, this is Mike signing off from F9 Finance. Cheers. <music>